and I've been in prayer and uh, we've got um, some songs to sing for the Lord this morning. So let's pray. Father, we thank you um, that we can come here this morning, Lord, and spend time in your presence. Father, I just pray that um, as we sing to you, Lord, as we listen to your word, Father, that uh, you will speak to us through your Holy Spirit this morning. Uh, we ask this in your mighty name. Amen. Awesome. Well, if you'd like to stand with us, and uh, we've got a few songs to sing this morning, so it um, be awesome to have you join in with us. Do it forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. People from every nation. Come to the river.
cool. So we have a, a new song for you this morning, and um, we hope you enjoy it. It's called The Desert Song, and uh, we really like it, and when we play it, and I don't make mistakes, I really like it. So um, feel free to sing along with us. Let's pray together. Lord God, whether it's a desert time, or a time of harvest, whether it's a cruisy time, a holiday time, or a time of great challenge, we choose to declare your praises. And we declare, God, we trust in you. And you're the God who turns up when we least expect you to. You're the God who never takes us out of his mind, who never forgets us, who never goes to sleep, who never slumbers. So, Father God, this morning we choose to praise you. And we declare, God, our faith and our trust is in you. And we believe, God, as we worship, as we give, as we serve, as we prophesy, that you'll inhabit the praises of your people and create life and create health and create blessing in our midst this morning. God, we submit and bow our heads to you, Jesus Christ. We open our hearts to be used by you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated, family. I'll invite our stewards to wait upon us for our tithes and offerings. 
as we run through a couple of notices. If that DVD is ready on the BSDS, let's go with that one first. There were three servants who were summoned by their master. To each of them, he gave a small sum of money to invest wisely. The first put his money in the bank. It'll be safe there, he said, and thought no more about it. The second immediately gave the funds away to a good cause. The most noble of choices, she said, but then the funds were gone. The third invested it with Baptist savings. He's now earning a competitive rate of return on his investment and helping build new churches and community facilities all over New Zealand. With Baptist savings, your money is safe, well looked after, and makes a positive return for both you and our building program. Over the past 40 years, we've upgraded, repaired or replaced hundreds of churches across New Zealand. By investing with us, you're making a solid financial decision for your future and helping to build God's kingdom. When the master returns, which type of person do you want to be? Be wise with your talents. Make a difference. Invest with Baptist Savings today by calling 0508 27 3772 or visit our website www.baptistsavings.co. They're awesome. These guys are wonderful to work with. I've worked with them on two building projects with churches. They've helped with design. They've been flexible with finance. Just awesome people of faith, you know. So, yeah, if you've got a spare a couple of hundred thousand or something and you want to invest, invest with them. That'll be a good thing. I'm going to ask um, Colleen to come to the front. Let us know a bit about Angel Tree. Colleen Gray. Lance, you're with the service. Lance, if you'd come forward, mate, that'd be great. Let us know about Angel Tree. And uh, it's just time to gear up for something we love doing as a church every year. And, and Lance will tell us about it. Thanks, Lance. Morning, church. Um, yeah, I mentioned Angel Tree last week. There's, um, Barbara tells me there's 13 angels to go. So that's, that's not very many. Uh, you need to get in. What, what Angel Tree is about is about connecting with the children of prisoners. Um, these kids, are, they're innocent, um, and so often they don't receive anything for Christmas. Um, the, the, the main breadwinner of the household is inside, and um, these kids go without. So I got the chance last year to deliver some presents, which is a really cool thing to do. If you want to be into delivering, do that too. It's like being Santa Claus, you know, over and over and over again. Um, but to see, the, see the, the joy in these kids' eyes when they see that a gift has turned up from mum or dad is just awesome. And it's a great way for the church to connect. So like I said, 13 to go. Um, they're $25, so you, just, you'll go, you get given a little angel, you go out and buy something to the tune of like $25, and that kid becomes your little prayer mission for the next year. So uh, come on, let's just clean them out now. Don't, don't worry about the 11 o'clock service. <laughs> Lance, I like it. So Lance, if they want to sign up for Angel Tree, they'd see you or Barbara or Carol in the office. Perfect. Thank you, brother. That's awesome. Look, a couple of uh, things happening over the next couple of weeks. First of all, tonight we're still having a healing service. There'll still be healing, but we've got a, a youth evangelist coming who loves to help people minister in the Holy Spirit. So still be lots of healings, but he'll probably activate some of the young people. So if you've got teenage friends, young adult friends who aren't at church this morning, Maybe encourage them along. If you're middle-aged like me, it'll still be lots of fun as we learn about things of the Holy Spirit together. It's 5 o'clock tonight. Tuesday this week, we've got a special meet meeting in the cafe to plan a Christmas outreach. My dream is to have Ranui Baptist Place as a place to go to every year for Christmas Eve. And I would imagine, I'd love to see for an hour and a half, 7.30 to 9 o'clock on Christmas Eve, the whole site buzzing with 10, 20 different activities. You know, it might be dance, might be rapping, might be hip-hopping, might be volleyball, might be free food, it might be activities for children, it might be a whole range of things. 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock, glow stick service, 10 o'clock fireworks display is the plan. So this Tuesday night, if you're free, you can advertise, make decorations, you can pull together some performers, you can run kids' games, anything you can contribute. If you'd like to be part of that outreach, catch up with us this Tuesday night in 7.30 in the cafe. We'd really appreciate that. Also, the next market day in two Saturdays' time, all the funds raised are going straight for the community outreach. So that's uh, two Saturdays' time. If you'd like to donate things, um, bring it into the church. I guess you don't want it till the Friday night, do you, Graham? If folk want to donate, donate something for the market day. During the week's okay? Awesome. 
Awesome. You might want to come and help with stalls and things on that Saturday. You may want to help with the packing up afterwards too. But I think we're going to impact a lot of people for the kingdom this Christmas Eve. And Graham, thank you for just sort of heading up a team to help us fundraise for that event too. That would be awesome. Now, I want you to welcome this morning a special person to the service. Yesterday, she was called Antoya. Today, she's called Mrs. Kelly. Would you put your hands together as Anne comes to the front? <laughs> I could so feel the presence of the Holy Spirit at your wedding, sister. Now, I've got her at the front because she's our sister, and we're glad she's married, but also because I want to shake her hand and just let you know she's on the church pastoral team. So we have a group of people who've been trained in pastoral care who at any time can ring up a church member and just turn up if you're in hospital. And maybe they just feel prompted of the Holy Spirit to pop and have a coffee with you. She's, if she turns up and the other pastoral care members, they're turning up on behalf of the church and you need to know that the elders and I stand behind these folks. They're well qualified, awesome hearted people. So Anne, here's your certificate saying that you've, under your old name, yesterday's name, so <laughs> saying that you've done the course and we trust you, okay? That's right. Bless you, Anne. Thank you, sister. Thank you. I'll invite some folk into membership now, then we'll pray for the birthday people. Candice DeLorme, would you come forward? Candice has been part of the family probably about three months, I'd say. And as soon as she turns up, she's a cheerful, delightful person. There's a real warm, friendly countenance about her. And one of the things I love about people who love the Lord is sometimes when they join the church, they say, I'm going to make this my home. They turn up and they're serving the next week. And Candice, you're just like that. You're one of those special people who said, this is going to be my missionary family. And the next week you're on the door and you're involved caring for people. So on behalf of the Ranui Baptist Church, welcome to this missionary family. I'll get you to stay up here and I'll get you to sign the member's book, grab a phone book and a card in a minute. Can, can I ask the carols to come forward, the four awesome carols? Can I welcome them into membership this morning too? I know you're not rugby players, guys. You can do everything else. You really can. You're the most dynamic family. But in rugby, they have these people that come off the bench at half time, are high impact players, and they change the game. And as I shake hands with Peter here, bless you, mate. Welcome to this family. Pastor Mel, bless you, sister. Sean, bless your brother. And Becky. These are four incredibly dynamic people. And it feels like they're high impact players. They're giving our family just a burst of life. Uh, they're selling up their home on the North Shore. They're coming to move on the 5th of December. 1st of December, to be Westies like us. They're committed to our family long term, so welcome to the missionary team, you guys. Can I get the birthday people to stand? Or anyone here who wants prayer for any special reason at all, would you stand now as well? If you had a birthday this week, you'd like prayer for some reason, would you stand and move to the aisles? Okay. Awesome. Now I'm going to get you to, Candice, I'll get you guys to spread out. Um, get you to come and stand over here. Now, people of faith, would you look at these folk, just pray quietly in your spirit and decide who you're going to lay hands on, who you're going to prophesy over. Let's stand out to your feet. Okay, look at those standing around you, look at those standing at the front, and come forward and just speak a word of encouragement and pray a blessing. Let's do that now. Let's pray. Let's jump to your feet.
I'm so excited we're such a good team on a Sunday morning. This is a missionary team God can really use to bless and to help people. If you're here at church for the first time, you want to find out more about Ranui, at the end of the service, there'll be people in the foyer with host lanyards on. And they'd love to get you a good cup of coffee if the youth group machine's going, or an ordinary one if it's not, and answer your questions about the church and encouraging your faith. I'll ask Bex and the worship team, if you come back up and lead us in worship. Children, if you'd like to make your way out to Children's Church now too, go out and be blessed with an awesome team of teachers out there. If you'd like to stand and join us in singing, um, praises to the Lord. Save 